Hey. So, I wanted to hop on here because I was getting ready to make something. So, I thought I might as well share with y'all what I'm getting ready to make. Got some weird stuff going on there. Um, I've been doing this spring cleaning in my house. I've printed off a checklist I found on, print, on Pinterest so I wouldn't like forget something. And um, I tend to do better with stuff when I have like a list that I didn't create <laughs> um, to just help me stay focused on what I'm supposed to be doing. So the next thing on my list is the bathroom. And um, I wanted to clean our bathtub really, really well. And instead of just like my usual spray it down with Thieves household cleaner and, you know, wipe it out. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit heavier duty since I'm doing like a spring cleaning thing. Um, our bathtub is, I guess, almost 50 years old. It's a yellow color. Like not because it's dirty, <laughs> because it's supposed to be. Um, so I wanted to clean it really well and, um, you know, one of, one of the boys chores is to clean the bathrooms. Uh, Garrett has the downstairs bathroom. Gavin has the upstairs bathroom. And I mean, you know, you assign the kids chores, but I mean, do they really even do a good job? I don't, you know, I don't know. So, um, cause I feel like if I do, if I assign chores, if I go back and do it myself, what is the point, first of all? If I <laughs> if I nitpick and, and I'm hounding them and all this, it's still stressful for me and it kind of defeats the point, in my opinion. But, um, so I know the tub's probably not been cleaned as well as it could have been. Um, maybe if I was doing it or whatever, so that's fine. So we're gonna make a Thieves soft scrub. It is so easy. Y'all don't have to buy the soft scrub at the store anymore. You don't have to buy it. And who knows what chemicals are in that stuff. Nasty junk chemicals, probably. I didn't even look it up. I would assume SLS at a minimum, which is the foaming agent, um, which you don't even need for cleanliness. It's probably gonna have fake lemons to make it smell decent. It's gonna hurt your respiratory system because of the fumes. We don't need that. We can just do thieves and boost your immune system at the same time and it'll smell good. So, first you combine your liquid ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is I have this big mason jar, which is probably overkill, but I didn't wanna get a bowl and a mason jar and a measuring cup and all of that. So we're just doing the um, um, big mason jar. So it said to use a teaspoon of vinegar. Well, I have a giant vinegar bottle because um, I believe my precious Gavin took my other one to clean um, the metal traps for animals. Anyway, so I have this giant one that I got at like for a class or something that I did. <laughs> so we just need a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna like Ballpark that, that's probably a teaspoon. Gotta be careful with that. I probably need to put it in a smaller container too, but I just haven't. Um, and you need a fourth of a cup of thieves. So, I just realized I didn't grab a measuring cup. Let me go get a little measuring cup real quick. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So here's a measuring cup. You need a fourth of a cup of thieves, so not a fourth of a cap full like you normally use for stuff. We're doing a fourth of a cup, so it's a little bit more than what you normally would use. And so um, when you do your thieves bottle, if you don't know this, if you can just poke a hole right there in the top, then you don't have as much coming out at one time. And remember, thieves all things, right? Thieves all things. So we're doing a fourth of a cup of that. We're doing 15 drops. I'm not good at eyeballing stuff, Megan. It's just kind of like, then I end up 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 10, 14, 15. So lemon essential oil, first of all, first of all, lemon essential oil gets, makes things whiter. It will degrease all things. I just will. You can put it on gross, like if you have your husband does car stuff or, um, I don't know, like roof stuff, whatever, and you get the black grease all over his hands, put some thieves oil on his hand before he washes them with the thieves hand soap. Um, and it will be fabulous. Okay, so you have that, that vinegar, thieves cleaner, and then it calls for a, four, for a cup of um, baking soda. So I'm gonna get, hopefully this will turn out good. But um, I've actually never made this before. It's not gonna hurt anything, that's for sure. That's what I love about it. I just keep my baking soda in like a big jar. I had like four opened things of baking soda, so I just put them all together in one container here. One more scoop. There was a stink bug. About to have a nurse breakdown in my house. Okay. We're just gonna combine all this good stuff. And I got a knife and I'm just mixing it together and it's kind of having like this little chemical reaction here in the jar. Yeah, the jar's a little bit big. You know, if you mix vinegar and baking soda, I mean, isn't that what they do to make, um, Volcanoes in the kids science projects like explode or something And it forms like this paste So now I can go to town cleaning see It's kind of like a I'll try to show you see it's like a paste that forms so you can rub that on your surface that you need to get the grime and the gunk and whatever, all the good stuff off. Be nice and clean. Scrub it up. That's it. I have my soft scrub that I made. Yeah, baking soda, like whatever. You mix baking soda with anything and it makes it better. As far as cleaning. Okay, so I have my soft scrub that I made and I can go clean my bathroom without harsh chemicals, without toxins. It's gonna clean it really well and it's gonna smell good. And it took me what? I mean, it wouldn't have taken nearly as long as I, if I weren't telling y'all what I was doing. So that is um, how simple it is. So you have no reason to buy the stuff at the store. Just ditch and switch and use your stuff that you got in your starter kit. Have a good day, y'all.